So I thought I'd show you some finds from my recent metal detecting adventures. Quite a bit of stuff here, but I'm just going to try and go through it real quick. Sometimes I get lucky and I find cool bottles like this. That was a lucky find. All these here are Indian head pennies. From the 1800s. Somebody made this one into a pendant. This one's from 1907. A few old knives that I found. This one's still good. The rest are all rusted shut. These are all war nickels. They are 40% silver. They're all from the 1940s. 1942, 43, and 44 war nickels. This right here is a silver quarter. This is a silver quarter I found. This one is my favorite. 1893. We got a couple silver dimes. Another silver dime. This right here is a steel penny. It's rare. 1943 steel penny. This right here is a V nickel from 1912. I actually found that right in my backyard. It'll focus. That's a V nickel, 1912. Um, I find a lot of crosses and religious stuff. I think that's silver. This right here is gold, 12 karat gold. These are two large cents that I found from the 1800s. Let's see, these, that's, oh, where's the pennies? These are pennies from today. These are 1800 pennies. They call them large cents. And I got this one here that's stamped MB. couple large scents so far. This is a top to an old bottle. Thought it was cool. Some kind of green gem. This is all just clad quarters. Old, rusty, just regular old quarters. Dimes, pennies. Uh, I'm not sure what these are. This is an old clamshell I found in an old homestead. These are all cool buttons that I found. Couple rings. It's a cool button. I find a lot of rings. There's a bunch of rings that I found. I found a class ring. it would focus class ring this is a silver ring I think I showed you guys this ring already an old mason jar top An old ball mason jar top. It says ball on the top there. B-A-L-L. -L. Mason jar lid. An old lock. Um, some old Monopoly. Monopoly toy pieces here. The shoe in the car. This is an old pendant that I found. It 
1834 on it. Um, this I actually found at a park. I dug it up. Pretty crazy, huh? I dug that up at a park underneath a tree about, about a foot down. A couple toy cars that I found. These two here are Tootsie Toys. Old die cast Tootsie Toys. They're not in the best of shape, but they're still collectibles, these two Tootsie Toys. I just thought that was cool, so I kept it. This is an old buckle that I found. I dug, actually, just so you know, I dug all this stuff up. I dug all this stuff up out of the ground. These are all old bullets. Sorry, I went past these bullets. These are all old bullets from the 18, maybe 17, 1800s. These are newer. 1900s but these are real old these round balls musket balls uh, old pewter spoons silver spoon an old silver knife butter knife real small cool looking buckle right here that I dug up it's got some cool detail to it this one has some nice detail to it too so does this buckle here I guess that's what you would call that it's like a suspender clip an old suspender clip another buckle some cool old keys some skeleton keys this is an old pendant that I dug up it's busted but Still looks pretty cool. These are some old Boy Scout, uh, I don't know what you call them, some kind of clipped tie or something. Clip ties from the Boy Scouts from back in the day. I dug those up. God Bless America pendant. Uh, some Disney stuff that I dug up. Some jewelry, a little heart there. It says forever. Another religious pendant here that I dug up. Come on, focus. It's not going to focus. Alright, well it's not going to focus on it. There we go. I dug that up. Um, this is a really old piece of china pottery that I found. Um, this is actually an old golfing tool. I don't know what you call it. But it's definitely old. I dug that up. I dig up a lot of dog tags. You're not going to believe it, but three different places I dug up the same name dog with the two different phone numbers, but the same dog. Lucy, Lucy, and Lucy. <laughs> three different times. And I called the phone number, and they're like, yeah, Lucy loses her dog tags all the time. And I was like, do you want them back? And they're like, no, you can keep them. <laughs> and uh, these are some more buckles that I dug up. Here's a bunch of keys that I've dug up. Underneath that are a bunch of sinkers, all different kinds of sinkers. Some real old ones in there. And underneath that is a bunch of shotgun shells that I've dug up and bullets. A lot of those shotgun shells are from the 1800s. 
so yeah these are all my finds my recent finds I got a lot more it's just I don't want to pull it all out these are my most recent metal detecting finds I dug all this stuff up out of the ground all that silver right there gold bunch of rings all these cool buttons all these cool rings this crazy thing I dug up these cool collectible cars buckles silver old pewter spoon another part of a pewter spoon some keys more pendants all this stuff come from out of the ground I just thought I'd share Let me know what you think. I don't only watch the skies and look up. I'm digging in the ground all the time and finding cool stuff, man. Some really cool stuff. Like all these Indian heads. All these Indian head pennies. So cool. This quarter from 1893. This nickel from 1912. Look at that. They call them V nickels. This gold pendant right here is one of my favorite finds. little focus come on focus Twelve karat gold. Dug that up. It's one of my favorite finds. That's definitely my craziest dig that I dug up. That's my craziest. And that's about it. wanted to share take care of each other